Hi friends! Well, I thought I was going crazy this morning because I went to my YouTube channel to get the video that I recorded on Fix It Grammar, on how we teach grammar, so that I could share that link. And I cannot find the video. <laughs> I looked through all my videos on my YouTube channel and it's not there. So I don't know if I somehow deleted it and never shared it with you guys or deleted it afterwards. I'm having some serious mom brain. This is probably just worsened by the fact that I am in my last two months of pregnancy and it's summer and I'm just hanging on to all these excuses to hope that I'm not going crazy. Anyway, I'm back here to share again how we use the program Fix It Grammar to teach grammar to our kids. I am of the mindset that if you teach grammar, if you start writing by teaching grammar when kids are young, that you run the risk of killing that spark that kids have of enthusiasm toward writing. Not every child has this, but it feels like you could really quickly kill that enthusiasm for anybody who might if you start with grammar. It's just too dull. It's starting with the rules instead of just allowing them to be excited about the idea of writing. And to illustrate that point, I have to say that one of my children has always said I don't like writing and has never tried to write anything on his own, but is an avid reader. And just this week, he suddenly decided he wanted to write a book and he has written page after page after page after page of this adventure story of these two boys. It's amazing. And it has really come, his knowledge has come almost completely out of me reading aloud to him his whole life and him reading a lot to himself. He picked up these rules and he has written this wonderful story. So after saying all that, I'm going to tell you that I still do teach grammar to a small degree to my children as they get older. So I didn't start this program until I had um, a child who hit 10, almost 11 years old. And then we started this program. So it's later than they've, the manufacturer probably intends for it to be sold to, to a child that old. But for us, it works great. I can't wait to share it with you. Now, one of the requirements for me of choosing a workbook type curriculum is that it needs to be painless. I want my kids to have minimal table time when it comes to school and lots of hands-on exploration time. So I don't want anything that's going to bog them down and that is why I really like Fix-It Grammar. In about 15 minutes a day they can complete what is listed in this book and move on to something else. I think it gives them a great foundation for um, knowing the rules of grammar. So I'm going to show you here book two because book one I actually didn't have a, a book copy like this I had received the entire thing as a um, internet download which you can do book two I have the physical book so I just want to show you that here when you go to purchase fix a grammar um, you really only need the teacher's manual if if that's <laughs> I mean you can buy everything as a download but if you want to buy a book by the teacher's manual because inside of it there will be this blue sheet of paper and it will have a code for you to go online for free and access all of the student workbook the entire student workbook which you can just print out and give to your child like that so you do not need to buy the teacher and the student workbook once I printed out the student workbook um, which I have to say for level one, I didn't even do the teacher guide because it's pretty basic. I then, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna, this is a page from book one. So what happens is that, let me turn back one. At the beginning of the week, they will learn something new. So in this week, they learned about adjectives. And then they give you a, a breakdown of what you're supposed to do for the four days of that week. It's on a four-day program which works perfectly for us. They have the student look up vocabulary words and add them to a notebook. We actually don't do that part. We just skip that part entirely and we go straight to working on the the um, grammar portion of this. So day one, if they need assistance, I help them. Um, my kids, like I said, because I started 
book one when they were a little older they're breezing through pretty pretty well just fine on their own and they rarely need my help but what they do is they'll go to day one and they will go correct the sentence so they will add punctuation they will choose here they have the option of which is the correct to so they would circle that one and then they need to label these things that are up here so they quickly put an n over any nouns they label articles pronouns they just do a quick labeling so that they are understanding and getting practice with identifying those parts of speech they're only learning one of these concepts a week so it's at this point there's several but it's not been overwhelming because they're just learning one a week then they will go to their notebook and they will rewrite that sentence now the cool thing about fix it grammar is that the entire program is one long story so that when they get done with that whole book They'll have written out this really interesting story doing just one sentence a day. So here is my daughter's. You can see this is the beginning of hers. Did you ever hear the story of the three poor soldiers? They had fought well in the wars, but now they were out of work and destitute. So she's writing just one sentence a day from the workbook into her notebook. She's writing that sentence corrected in nice handwriting, and that's it. She's done for the day. This is my kind of grammar. It is quick, it is simple, and it doesn't feel like a laborious chore for them that makes them kind of shut down and feel <laughs> hateful toward it. It's just been perfect for my kids and we've really enjoyed it. Another thing that I did um, a little bit, after we got several weeks in, um, one of my kiddos was just having trouble like wait a second what was the article or what was the they were starting to get things mixed in their mind and so what I did is in the back of your book you will have like a glossary with just different things broken down I photocopied a few of the pages that they needed and with the scissors I just cut out the little parts that I felt like they needed a prompting on and then I glued them and laminated them so that they have these sheets that they can stick in their binder and just pull out if needed to remind themselves. So that's just an extra thing that I did to help them out. Um, obviously not something that the program itself suggested or that you have to do, just a little bonus. So that's all guys. That is the entire um, premise of Fix It Grammar. Now occasionally, and I will keep my eye out so that I can share this with you, Occasionally, they will have a like promotional where you can get a level of fix a grammar for free. And this is how I got our level one. I didn't pay for it at all. They just offered a you know code online that you could go into their website and get the free download copy of fix a grammar that I printed out and gave to my kids. And we went from there. I actually, the next year, they did it again. Only this time it was with actual books. So I haven't paid for this one either actually went and did the code again and they mailed me the actual teacher's book which I'm so impressed by so currently I haven't paid a penny for this wonderful program it is um, through Institute for Excellence in Writing IEW they do other really great programs as well um, I am so thankful to my friend Alicia for telling me about this program and I'm kind of hard-headed so she had to tell me more than once she told me probably a couple years ago and I was just like, oh, that's great. Good for you. And then she told me about it again. And I thought, okay, I need to check this out. And I'm glad I did because it has been a simple and fruitful addition to our homeschooling. So I will put the link below to the IEW website where you can see Fix a Grammar for yourself. And if I come across a code, I will be sure to let you know um, right here on this channel. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.